Hey everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com. I'm filling in a quick update video. It's a tip or trick video, which usually is on Thursdays, and sorry I'm a little bit stuffy. I think I have a little cold slash something coming on. My kids have been sick. Anyway, so just apologize for the voice. I usually do these on Thursday, the tip and trick videos, because they're exploding with tips, tricks, and ideas for you. But Britain posted a fabulous thing today, Friday, um, May, what is it? I don't even know, 4th? I guess today's May 4th. And so I'm going to add this into that post if you haven't seen it already. It is a checklist of things that you need to take to your crops or to an uh, evening crop or a weekend crop to not overpack, but to really have the things that you're going to most likely need. And then you can just check them off and then you can write in the things that you need that are priorities to you as well. So it's a great print off. You're going to want it. But one of the things that she mentioned is, and I do as well, I have a little um, netbook. This is a little mini netbook that I use when I go on a crop because I use it for designing or whatever it may be with my cameo or my puzzles. It doesn't matter. So I just have a little inexpensive netbook that I use only for designing. It's not for everyday stuff. So it was under 200 bucks. It's like the price of a gypsy. And you can do a lot with it. Well, I loaded all of my Cricut cartridges on here and they're in PDF form. And they're saved on here, so I don't have to bring handbooks with me. They're all right here, and you can just scroll through the pages, and you can see this is the Batman cartridge. And just one at a time, you can go through each and every page, and you can see what's in there. Well, you can do the same thing on your iPad. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do it. It's so super simple, especially if you have iBooks. If you don't have iBooks, update your um, iPad, and it should be on there automatically. Um, what you need to do is you go to the web address www.cricket.com slash information slash cartridge underscore library dot ASPX and I'll post the link at the blog post and maybe even right here. Can you see it right here? Is it here? I think it'll be here. All right, um, so once you do that, you're going to come up with a list. It's going to give you a list of all the cartridges, the Cricut cartridges, that are currently available. Some of them do not have handbooks. I will tell you, um, some of the newer ones don't have handbooks. The Teresa Collins one doesn't have handbooks, but m a majority of them, you can see it says View Sample or View Handbook. So all you do is you click on view. So I just did the Cricut Imagine JT cartridge. It's going to bring it up in a whole new window or a whole new tab so you can go back over to it. It's saved for you. Bookmark it for sure. Does take some time, but right here in this top right corner, it says open in iBooks or open in dot dot dot. If you just hit open in iBooks, that's all you need to do. It's going to bring up your iBooks and you can see I already have another couple cartridges here. In PDF format, it's right there. And then you're able to just scroll through each and every single image, which is just so cool. It's so easy to use, and um, you know it really does save you all that space of all those cartridge handbooks everywhere if you're using a gypsy, or even if you just take your cartridges with you, those handbooks take up a lot of space. So you could just stuff all your cartridges into a cartridge caddy or a seagull bag or something like that if you need all your cartridges because you don't have another means then you know this is still a great thing because you're not trying to find the handbooks and flip through. So I hope that helps you. Thanks for joining us for this tip or trick. Hope you check out that post and I'll see you guys tomorrow for National Scrapbook Day where we have so much more going on. See you soon. Bye.